in a world filled with tasty tacos, succulent steaks, and delicious desserts, it can be tricky to always eat foods that are easy to digest. And although we may love them, these foods don't always seem to love us back. So if you experience bloating, belly aches, and uncomfortable symptoms after eating your favorite foods, which maybe we should call discomfort foods, <laughs> then you've probably searched for supplements that can make you feel better. But which digestive aids will help you the most with digestion and bloating? Betaine HCL or digestive enzymes? Well, that's exactly what we're going to look at in this video. Not only will we take a deep dive into what HCL the enzymes actually are, but most importantly, we'll show you the difference between them and how they each work in the gut. So you can work out what is best for your specific digestive issues. Let's go. Hi, I'm registered dietitian, Rochelle Godwin. And just before we begin, keep in mind that this video is not intended as medical advice, rather it's for general information purposes only. As with all dietary supplements and gut health protocols, please consult with your healthcare professional to work out what is best. So first up, when is betaine HCL the better supplement to take? Simply put, HCL will be more useful for people who have low stomach acid and experience bloating when eating protein-rich foods like meat, seafood, and dairy. And to understand why, I'll quickly explain how it works. So to start with, it's worth knowing that we all need stomach acid, which is primarily made of hydrochloric acid or HCL to digest protein. And that's because without enough of it, we can't activate pepsin, which is a digestive enzyme in the stomach and its primary function is to digest proteins. Now I know all that sounds a little complex, so let's travel to the Marvel Universe for an analogy that will help it make sense. So you can think of pepsin like Thor's hammer. It smashes up the protein in our foods into smaller and more absorbable amino acids, which then fuels our bodies and gives us energy. Now, when we don't digest protein well, meaning Thor's off his game and sporting a giant beer belly, sorry, Chris, <laughs> We can experience bloating, gas, and even a burning sensation in the chest. All of this can leave us feeling <laughs> about as uncomfortable as Taylor Swift watching Kanye open mic night at the VMAs. And so this is when the supplement betaine HCL can help, which I'll explain now. So to reiterate, pepsin is the primary enzyme our bodies use to digest protein. More pepsin means better protein digestion. However, pepsin can't thrive in a low stomach acid environment. And so this is where betaine HCL comes into play. By mimicking your stomach acid, it creates a better environment for pepsin to thrive in. So if you feel bloated after a high protein meal, it may actually be due to the low stomach acid and thus low pepsin levels. And this is something that a lot of people just don't realize they might have. In fact, let's play a quick clip from another video explaining why people might have low stomach acid. But first, let's take a quick look at what causes low stomach acid. So the major things that can cause your HCL levels to decline include the normal aging process, use of anti-secretory medications like proton pump inhibitors, which work to block acid production, as well as use of simple acid neutralizers like chewable antacid tablets, which contain ingredients such as calcium carbonate. Plus, low stomach acid can even be due to stomach infections like H. pylori, which is thought to affect roughly 50% of the worldwide population and nearly one in three Americans. <laughs> no wonder so many of us often feel like we're carrying around a mini food baby after eating our meals. And if you want to see whether your stomach acid levels might be low, consider taking the Betaine HCL challenge test, which we talked about in our video on how to use Betaine HCL, link in the description below. Another thing to keep in mind is that here in the US, we really do eat a lot of protein. And because of this, our bodies may be struggling to digest the sheer amount of protein we do consume. So to sum it up, by taking betaine HCL with meals, you have a better chance of digesting and absorbing meals high in protein. As such, betaine HCL is very useful for people eating protein-rich diets like low-carb diet, low-FODMAP diet, paleo diet, or even a standard American diet, which we've shown is also high in protein. And here's a quick diagram summing up when betaine HCL is best to use. 
and in a minute I'll bring this back up onto screen so you can see exactly how it compares to digestive enzymes. Now by contrast to HCL, digestive enzymes are helpful for a wider variety of foods, which means they are more useful for people who find a variety of foods tough to digest, not just protein rich foods. And this primarily takes place in the small intestine, as opposed to just the stomach being the place where betaine HCL and pepsin take place. And so you have a really good idea of what they can do. We'll quickly look at what exactly they are and how they can help. So without getting too geeky, digestive enzymes help break down food into smaller building blocks that our cells can use. We can think of them like mini chefs with amazing knife skills. And here's a fun experiment so you can see these enzymes in action. Try placing a salting cracker on your tongue and leave it there for a few seconds. You'll notice it starts to break down instantly. That's the amylase enzymes in your saliva going to work. They're busy turning the starchy carbs into simple digestible sugars. Pretty cool, right? Now, although our body naturally makes digestive enzymes and sends them into our GI tract, we may start to lose some of this power with age, stress, poor diet, overeating, and a host of other factors. And when there are not enough enzymes, it can lead to incomplete food breakdown, which can then cause those uncomfortable symptoms. Hello, bloating and gas. And that's when digestive enzymes in supplement form can help. In fact, this 2016 review paper published in Current Drug Metabolism found digestive enzymes are able to break down proteins and carbohydrates and lipids, which are fats, and their supplementation may play a role in the management of digestive disorders. So once again, you can see the difference between betaine HCL and digestive enzymes. It all has to do with which foods they help digest. While HCL is the most effective for protein, digestive enzymes are better for breaking down a mix of foods containing carbs, fats, and to a lesser extent, protein. And here's a quick table which gives you an idea of just how versatile digestive enzymes are compared to betaine HCL. As you can see, there is a different digestive enzyme for pretty much every type of food you could possibly eat. So now with all of that in mind, let's bring the diagram back up and see how HCL and digestive enzymes compare. So while HCL is really helping the digestion in the stomach and mainly focus on protein, digestive enzymes are helping with digestion in the small intestine and with all types of foods. So in terms of which is better, well, to reiterate, they both help your body break down foods. But in terms of which one will help you the most, <laughs> it depends. If you know that you have low stomach acid, eat a high protein diet, or have trouble digesting proteins, well, the Metain HCL is an easy choice. Not only will it help with bloating caused by eating meat, seafood, and other protein-rich foods, but it will also help your stomach kill any bad bacteria that hitches a ride on your food and into your GI tract. By contrast, if you feel crampy and bloated after carb-rich meals, or by eating foods with fats, or you simply don't know what foods are causing you issues, well then a digestive enzyme supplement could be worth trying. And of course, if you struggle with both, you can take HCL and enzymes together. You see, betaine HCL and digestive enzymes are actually BFFs when it comes to digestion, as they work together as a team to help you break down all types of food. While HCL will get things started in the stomach, the digestive enzymes will finish things off in the small intestine. In other words, together, they offer you digestive support from start to finish. And that's when you have the best chance of feeling great after eating your favorite foods, <laughs> even those tasty tacos and delicious desserts. Now we wanna hear from you. HCL or enzymes, which helps you the most? <laughs> Let everyone know by leaving a comment below. If you enjoy this video as part of our digestion series, then hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video. Our team of dietitians and doctors here at Essential Stacks are so excited to continue researching which foods and supplements help your gut health. That way you can save hundreds of hours of trial and error and focus on what's best for your digestive health. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments. Bye for now.